one. You too. Welcome back to the channel. This is Mitch Alico coming at you from Ireland. I mean, last we were in Vegas. Did you see our videos? We went from day to night, walked the entire strip, and now we've made it to Belfast. Oh my gosh. This is City Hall. We're starting the day here, wandering around the city, and this is one day in Belfast. What you can do here, what you can expect, and the best things to see. Apologize for the wind, but it is gorgeous. It's the perfect temperature outside, and we are so excited to share the day with you. Follow, like, subscribe, and we're off. Welcome back. Just like she said, yes, look at this. She's a little nasally, so am I. We've had 30 hours of travel to get here, but we are in Belfast, Ireland. This is our first stop. This is gonna be one day in Belfast, Ireland. Michelico, we're gonna take you around. How amazing is this? We're so blessed to be here, we're lucky. So let's go ahead, we're gonna show you this entire town, what we think you should do in one day, downtown Belfast in Ireland. Let's go. All right, we are there, which is where the front of the city center is. Yes. And then what are we gonna do? I think that our best bet, uh, we got dumped in the middle of the city. We just came from our cruise and we took a $10 American uh, shuttle, double-decker bus into town, dropped here like we greeted you in front of the city hall and then there was a map and I think the best things that we should run around and see are all the biggest architecture of the city and then see what we find along the way. What do you think, honey? Yeah, let's go ahead and do it. So we're gonna check out all these. This is a good map. We're here downtown middle. We're gonna just pretty much do a big loop here. So go over here. One of the big things I wanna do is check out this crown bar. So let's go ahead and check it out now. We have made it to the crown. We actually entered around back, came around the building, and you can see the detail of this building. This is supposed to be the number one pub in Belfast. Now we can't make it inside, it's still closed. It's about 9.30 in the morning. <laughs> What we didn't realize, we were trying to get an early start, plus with the time change, getting out here early to walk the city, but most things are closed right now for drinks and things like that. So we're gonna check out the mall across the street, but just so you know, you should take a look inside because we, we peek through the windows and it looks super cool on the inside. Before we make it into the mall, we made it to the espresso shop. This is our first stop on the cruise. The coffee is not good whatsoever. So this is on the, the first cruise that we are purchasing in Ireland. Oh, there we go. Here we go. Thank you. It's all you, honey. We are sugar fanatics, and we're walking through the mall. Everything's closed, but this cookie box is open for other sugar, sugar fanatics just like us in the Sugar fanatics. It's like before 10 a.m. and I'm, I'm eyeing those giant cookie pies, not gonna lie. Well, we have made it to one of the cathedrals. There are quite a lot of churches. The architecture is phenomenal here, um, but sprinkled throughout the map, there's a lot of sightseeing buildings. Not that we paid for any tours. They range from like 55 to uh, 250 to go inside these places and look through. We're more of uh, explore our own, make our own journey. So we've been walking around town, but I was just telling Mitch, we kind of launched our day with all the tours that start very early in the morning. Um, but now we're at a point where a lot of the things where you would stop and maybe shops you would look through or bars you would, pubs you would get a drink at, are not open so we're just wandering around the town taking in the architecture like i said lots and lots of brick but it is stunning you just have to think of how long these things have been here comparatively speaking to america it's nice to take in wonderful beautiful morning and we're off to the next one whatever else is on the map okay so we've made it to the river not logan river logan l-a-g-a-n it's pretty uh, it's right downtown. It looks nice. Uh, we've done a lot of walking, probably about two miles so far. A lot of historic buildings. Uh, as you guys can see across, it's very unique looking. Um, I, I like the city so far. I'd say it's pretty clean. Uh, the people are very nice. Accents are wonderful. Hopefully we can catch a couple in the background uh, as we're filming. Their accents are great. Uh, it definitely feels like uh, a little bit of like Harry Potter-ish. Kind of, I kind of feel that way. Um, and then the weather's really nice today. I think a lot of the times when you come to the city, it's usually probably raining. And today we got uh, over—it's overcast, but it's broken clouds. 
and uh, it's very nice. It's probably about 70 degrees Fahrenheit, so we're really enjoying it. We're gonna keep on walking through, um, but it is a very beautiful little river that passes right through here. We wanted to show you guys this. We'll look at a couple more old buildings, and then we wanna look inside some shops too. So this is just a day in Belfast, Ireland, and it's great. And I think so far my favorite thing is just the people watching and hearing their accents. It's, it's great. I'm not very good at the, the accent, but I'm having a good time. So we're gonna keep on going. Let's go ahead and check out the rest. Uh, we're gonna do a couple more buildings and then a couple shops. Let's go look at some shops. I think, I believe, we've made it to Victoria Square, which is the local mall. Now, there's music, there's humming, there's all kinds of stuff going on. Lots of little shops, like we promised you, we want to pop in and out of a couple of them. I love the overhead lighting that you see throughout. It's just a lot of character. Lots of brick each way and a yellow dome down there. Just a lot of stuff to see. I think this is the perfect place for tourism tourists to come, so we're here. Okay, this is our first or second store that we've come into. I love it. There was baby skateboards up front, just saying. Lots of candy, lots to choose from. The souvenirs, this is our first city though. I think we have like seven days left and we're island, not island hopping, but around the island. So I, I feel like we can't pack up too much, but I brought a backpack, let's load them up. What did we just find? Oh my gosh, Poundland, what does that stand for? The dollar store, let's take a look inside. The dollar store, <laughs> this is so funny. So this is what it looks like, Belfast, Ireland. And of course, you guys can already see the symbol. We might have found. We found Starbucks. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. It's the OG, it's, it's where we're from. It's the OG. Seattle. Yeah, it is from Seattle. Uh, we're having a lot of fun. Um, definitely, the, we did a cruise ship, and so we kind of don't have our, we have our sea legs on right now. So being back on shore, we're kind of feeling a little bit wobbly. Um, we haven't tried any food yet, but I think we're gonna try some food and then we'll probably go into a pub as we can We get quite a long time here. We get till about 6 30 p.m. Uh, and we really enjoy it a lot This is a much more lively part of town than where we were earlier. This is something we probably would recommend more Don't you think? Yes, definitely. Yeah, that, come to Victoria Square. I believe that's what it's called Yeah, this is a, this is a lot more lively uh, than where we were earlier earlier It felt um, a lot more historic and older. This feels pop popping <laughs> with uh, all the locals here in Ireland, in Belfast. Pretty fun. All right, I've actually found an American monster. <laughs> Believe it or not, we didn't want to tell you, but we, we tried uh, McDonald's here. We've had McDonald's in Egypt, we've had McDonald's in Amsterdam, Mexico, now Ireland. Uh, it was a little bit different here, it was still good. We are at some clock tower that we wanted to look at. And I, we also went shopping, and I got, I was so hot in my, uh, I wanted to fit in and look like uh, I was from Ireland, so I had like a, a, a weave sweatshirt on. So I changed and bought a shirt. We went to, uh, there was a Zara here, which we did a bunch of American stuff, so we haven't really ventured into too much. But we did look at souvenir shops. They're very cool. We'll have to show you, maybe show you some of those if we got some on, on film. And we did a lot of shopping. We really do recommend, I think it's called Victoria Center. Square. Victoria Square. That is definitely by far something you have to stay. We've kind of come to the end of it. We're going to now head back uh, towards the city, cent city center where the double decker bus was that we rode into town. And if we see any more cool stuff, we will. A day in Dublin, Ireland, uh, or not Dublin, Ireland, in Belfast, Ireland, I definitely recommend going here if you're downtown. The other cool stuff at the beginning was kind of cool if you want to see the, eight, the, the history, the brick, and all that. But there seem to be a lot of excursions on the outside. If we were to come back here, I'd definitely be interested in doing those. Especially if you're a fan of Game of Thrones because there is so much Game of Thrones stuff here and we didn't go check out any of it. And that's something we should probably should have checked out is the Game of Thrones. But we did get a lot of cool accents so far and I've really enjoyed it. That's been my favorite part. But let's keep on going. We're going to take you back through town one more time and then we're going to wrap up this video. We'll do a little bit more uh, panning around so you guys can see everything that we're seeing. But a day in du I keep on saying Dublin. Belfast, Ireland has been really good so far and our weather has been fantastic. Okay, so we're making it back into Victoria Square. We went all the way to the clock tower behind us. We're going all the way back to the city hall. I just wanted to make note that when you look at the tourist maps, 
Everything looks really far apart and intimidating. We came in not hiring a tour, not doing our research before we arrived, uh, just to play it by ear, and it totally worked out. Everything is walkable, everything is nearby. All the cathedrals, yeah, really you could go tour them yourself. You don't need to pay for tours. Um, and then the mall is right around the corner if you want to stop and buy something, okay. pop into a couple shops. If you wanted to do research, yeah, our bags. If you wanted to do a little bit more research beforehand, you definitely can to make it to those further out destinations. Like Mitch mentioned, there is um, a Game of Thrones scene but it's about two and a half hour drive, so if you're committed to the travel, because the show is your end all be all, definitely do that. And then there's another like scenic route, but other than that, everything's pretty centralized. So I would say just show up, put on your walking shoes, and make your way around town. Okay, we've made it back to where we started. City Hall. City Hall. Belfast, Ireland, we're back. We made a full loop of the city and then did a, a bunch of teas in the middle of the mall and circles and loop-de-loops and we did it all. I think we're on like seven miles, to be honest. We've been here for about six hours, which is enough for me in this city, to be fair. Yeah, it was good. Uh, I really like, again, I like the, my favorite thing is the uh, accent, amazing. It's the best thing ever. Uh, I could just listen to new people watching. Accent people watching is really, really good. Uh, the city's really cool looking, a lot of brick. Um, there is, it does feel really modern. There is a lot of modern around it, so you kind of get that feeling as well. Um, but also, I would really say that there is a lot of American culture here. Music, uh, the, signs. the signs, there's, you know, every- KFC, K McDonald's, easily yeah. spotted, yeah. Zara, shopping. Starbucks. Yeah, Starbucks. There's a lot. Um, so that being said, if you want like that American feel, you can find it here. But also there's a lot of stuff that is Northern Ireland is really cool. One of the things that I would recommend if you do come back here, like I said, uh, do do the city, do come through, because we're doing one day here. Uh, if you only have one day, I definitely recommend going down to that Victoria, what is it called? Square. Victoria Square. And then also, if you do have more time here, do like a tour where you get out of town, maybe rent a car or get some scooters or something. Scooters. And then go out and see the actual country. Um, we'll be back here in uh, Dublin. Well, we'll be like city hopping for the next couple yeah. days. So we'll have a day in each and hopefully we're able to rent some scooters or I'll settle for a bike to be honest. Yeah. But I just want to get on something with two wheels and make our way around town with each other. So I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, day in Belfast. I keep on saying Dublin. Oh, he got it! <laughs> it's right in the background right there. Yeah, so right. That's, that's, that's the key. So one day in Belfast. We hope you guys enjoyed this. Make sure to like, subscribe, stay tuned. We're going to have a lot more videos. It's going to be a weekly thing. We post every day, Saturday at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, USA. Like, subscribe. See you guys on the next video. Bye!